you too. Peace. What it do? Lost in the guard. If you're not subscribed to the channel, low, keep in low. the area. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop bell, more so fire content notified. like I'm about to drop. Um, you already make sure know. you hit that thumbs up button. That helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're not square, tap into the channel. Keep low. You know what I say. Be there or be square. Now let's get into this video about Sean Diddy Combs. I know he don't like when people call him Sean. So we're gonna talk about Sean today, you feel me? Um Sean did a reckless ass phone call yesterday from jail. And I know some of y'all probably heard about his call that he made from the Brooklyn Correctional Facility, Federal Detainer Center. Should we say that, right? Because he's just a detainee. He's not a convicted yet, so he's not a convict. He's just a detainee. There's a difference. A detainee is innocent until proven guilty, and a convict is somebody who has been convicted of a felony crime or a misdemeanor, whatever, right? But Sean Diddy Combs, Sean, you don't be knowing about how to use jail phones. It tell you before you get on the phone in any federal institution, idiot boy. It tells you this call is being monitored and recorded by the federal institution or the federal penal institution that you're in, dum dum. But you gonna get on the phone and say, yo, tell him that new movie gonna come out on Netflix. Like we all don't know that you're talking about dropping another tape and you're threatening somebody. According to my ideology or how I see it, my perspective of seeing things, y'all get in the comments and tell me how y'all see that. When he get on the phone and he say, you tell them, did, did, um, I'm going to drop another tape on Netflix and all that. We know you're not dropping a tape on Netflix. We know you're going to drop a Beyonce joint or a Rihanna joint or some crazy shit that you already got in your archives of that sick, deviant behavior of your debauchery and you know what debauchery is debauchery is when you're caught up in your sexual lust and you just can't control yourself and you just gotta have free goals you feel me that's what debauchery is and he should control his lust you got four devils within yourself people that's envy lust jealousy and greed don't let none of them joints get to you. Bang them joints out and just be a clean, honest living person. You feel me? That's what I would encourage you to do. But back to Mr. Sean Combs, a.k.a. The Diddler. The Diddler also said to his son, Yo, look, you know what I want you to do, man? I want you to clean up them pizza boxes. We all know that pizza means little kids, man. Like the pizza gate. And I don't want to get no flags on my channel But y'all know what Pizzagate is That's when all them politicians was doing that weird $85,000 pizza party Where do they have an $85,000 pizza party? You explain that to me, Washington, D.C. But back to the diddler He told his son, yo, listen, man Yo, you know what I want you to do for me, man? He's still talking like a gangster on the phone in there I know the feds are sitting back with them big headphones on And they like you hear this fucking guy talking about some pizza? We all know that means little kids. And he's saying, yo, get rid of the pizza boxes. Hold up, dum dum. You've been locked in jail for almost a month now. Maybe three weeks to a month, maybe a month and a half. Who the hell gonna leave pizza boxes around for a month and a half? When you got maids and butlers and all that, you couldn't come up with a better code than clean up the pizza mess that I left around. You know what you're gonna do, you fucking idiot boy? And I'm talking to you, Sean. You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna tell that little boy to go get them tapes or go get whatever paraphernalia you have in that house. And they gonna gobble that little boy up. Them alphabet dudes gonna run up with them FBI jackets, don't you move! And they gonna take whatever you told that little boy to get. And I know he's not a little boy. I know he's like 30 years old. But why send a boy to do a man's job? You're supposed to have people around you that's insulated within your security detail or something that could go handle that. Why would you put your young heir in danger like that? That's your flesh and blood. You know why? Because you're a sick narcissist. That means you just care about yourself, Diddy. You don't care about nobody else. You don't care if Biggie died. You don't care if Tupac died. You 
don't care if Keith e. D's in jail. You don't care if they raided your house and handcuffed your two young sons. You was on a jet somewhere safe. Cause you're a narcissist, Diddy. Yo, y'all get in the comments and tell me what y'all think about that, him being a narcissist. Cause he'll let everybody around him fall, as long as he don't fall. Or even if he fall, he'll let y'all fall first. So y'all can soften up his fall, he can land on top of one of you motherfuckers. You feel me? That's how Diddy move. And if you don't know that, I don't even be around this boy. But if... If y'all don't know that and y'all be at his parties, you know, yeah, it's puffing, we having a party and the nigga just squirting all on you like a sucker. Y'all birds. I'm not with all that. Like 50 Cent said, I've never been to one of P. Diddy's parties. I'll never go to one of them shit. Cause you're all weird in there. And you all know what's going on. I mean, you know that he have underage kids. And the reason why you're probably like, yes, Puff. Yes, Puff. I understand, Diddy. Because you got something on your stupid ass. And you got caught in your weird debauchery. Because if you wasn't... Okay, tell me this. Why nobody said, fuck with the, the paparazzi, say. I'm going to visit my man Diddy. Now let's get back to Diddy's phone call. Diddy said... Yo, listen, man. Did Jay call? We all know who you're talking about. When you said, did Jay call? Okay, let's just assume. It's some other guy named Jay. It's not Jay-Z. It's some other guy named Jay. Because I don't want to put Jay in that. But you see, when things started going wrong with Damon Dash and Jay-Z, Jay-Z just became distant. He's like me. Like, when I see something you're doing that I don't like... I become distant. And if you keep doing some weird shit, I just totally stop fucking with you. And that's what Jay does. Cause Jay know how to move. Look, while Diddy's caught up in, in his lust and his debauchery, running around like a Roman Caligula, taking off his clothes, having all kind of actual parties and all this weird drugging people shit. Jay Z was sitting back like, damn, I'm gonna buy this casino. 42nd Street Casinos make a million dollars a day To 10 million a day Jay was thinking like that Jay was thinking damn I'ma I'm close this deal With the NFL And I'ma host the music for the NFL For the next 4 years I'ma get a big check with like A 150 With 6 zeros after that shit You feel me? Jay thinking like that 150 million, 400 million For 4, four years of doing, putting dudes in position within the Super Bowl. That's the NFL. You feel me? He thinking like that. So why he don't go visit Dizzy? Ain't nobody got time for that. You feel me? Ain't nobody got time to be messing up their brand. My brand is not even enormous like Rockaway, but keep low getting on. And I wouldn't even go visit your ass to fuck up Keep Low. Nobody want to do business with me. Well, like an idiot boy. You feel me? And another thing Diddy said. Let me show you how he's a narcissist. And y'all get in the comments and tell me what y'all think. Diddy, his son said, Yo, Pop, I'm going to drop another song. My music's heating up. It's getting fire. He said, And what we going to do about my other brother's king's car? And he said, Um... Tell that motherfucker he's 30 years old. Go make his own money. Tell him go make some appearances at the club. You know, they'll be like, yo, we got Diddy's son in the club. Come through. We got Diddy's son going to be here Friday. They give him 20 racks. So go do like six or seven of them and pay your own $150,000 for your own Bentleys or Rolls Royce, whatever your daddy brought you or whatever you signed off into a corporate lease or whatever. But just go pay for your own car or... Just drive one of daddy's cars. See how puppy get and he said, nah, tell him go do some club appearances. He's 30 years old. He could pay for his own shit. Don't you see what I'm going through here? And then the other kid was like, yo, dad, but I got this fire song coming out and my music's doing good. And he said, yo, fuck all that. You ain't doing none of that. You're just gonna be quiet, like I told you. And go get them fucking pizza boxes. You hear me? Like the feds ain't listening. Like they ain't in the room, the next room in the jail, with some big ass headphones, like 10 of them just listening. And the other one's writing it down. They writing every detail. As soon as Shorty try to go get that stuff Freeze, don't you move FBI He's gonna be bugging He's gonna be in there with you 
Why you putting yourself, your son in a position like that, Diddy? You know why you putting your son in a position like that? Because you're a selfish, narcissistic dude. And you just want everything your way. And I'm God. Yeah, I'm God, body. Because God is the spiritual essence of myself. But you, you got a God complex. And you know what that makes you? That makes you a God. But it makes you a goddamn fool. You feel me? You calling your son, go get those pizza boxes. Right? The feds don't, the feds don't know what pizza means. And then he's saying, yo, look. Go get those plastic. All the plastic I laid around. What's plastic? Hard drives and all this other shit. They know! Don't you know they know? You're supposed to have somebody with security detail. You're supposed to have all this shit mapped out. Because look, you had a chance, boy boy. When they first raided your house in March. Or you thought it's a joke. Oh, I'm just the smartest nigga in the world. I'm just outwitting the feds. What you thought? They got a 96 to 97% conviction rate. That only means 3% of the people win against the United States federal government. It's called the Justice Department. Your papers don't say the city of New York versus Sean Combs. Your shit says the United States of America versus Sean Combs. That's a big difference. That's a federal statute, boy. That's not CPL, criminal proceeding law. This is a federal statute. This is a whole different ball game. Don't you understand me, Sean? Now you're going to get that beautiful young man locked up. He's out here 30 years old in the prime of his life, living his life, dancing at parties, doing all the shit you was doing. And it's bad that he's doing that weird shit too. You know what I mean? Because there's some girl on the boat saying that your son told her to have a drink and she took the drink and she started getting dizzy, took her to a room, told her buff me off. Dropped his pants and said, buff me off And I don't want to be vulgar and get nothing on my channel But he's like, yo, buff me off She's like, no And somebody else came in there and then he let her go with some weird ass shit And you teaching that boy wrong But yo, this live stream to God Keep lords the channel I just give it to you real and raw around here You know why? Because real is rare And them fake dudes is everywhere You feel me? Don't be like them Come on over here to the real We're going to give you the real spit And yo, you're not subscribed to this channel Keep low Make sure you hit that notification bell Make sure you hit that thumbs up button And we're going to get more into this ditty shit But yo, we're going to see how this pull out And since you're so smart We're going to see if you beat them feds And since you got so much tapes and all this on these other people See if none of them go against you But as far as I look I see 120 new witnesses against you 120 new witnesses Do you know what that is? Do you know what that is? And yo, let me tell you something, man 120 new witnesses That Diddy got against him And 60 of them is male Oh, he like going in that back door You feel me? And, uh, and according to the federal government And this Rolling 60s script dude Named Keefe D All the way from the West Coast That you had ties with They said, what you think about Diddy? He said that Dirty motherfucker. That old man sitting in jail, 65 years old, cause he did some dumb shit like straight dropping him. They just ran up and blew young dog through a cookie shop. And they got $800. Where they do that at? This nigga's locked up in Vegas jail, and I'm talking about KVD. He locked up in Vegas jail almost for a year now for the murder of Tupac Shakur. And he didn't get a dime of that money. And it's alleged that Puffy gave the money to Zip. But Zip passed away after he brought the Zip Code Club. You feel me? Where they do that at? Where gang members get caught up and do hit and don't get the money? What type of gang members are those? Well, anyway, y'all get in the comments and y'all tell me, yo, y'all know what it is. Keep low the channel. I'm lashing the guard. Y'all get in the comments and tell me what y'all think about this video. If you're not subscribed to this channel, subscribe to the channel. Peace.
Yo, big salute to everybody that's tapped in with this channel. Big, big salute to all my subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Real is real, fake is everywhere. It's keep low, you never tell, they never gonna know. And that's the best kept secret.